The Disney Junior original show, The Lion Guard, is the most recent addition to the Lion King canon, but for many people, like myself, there is yet to be a definitive answer on a big question. If Simba had a second child, why was he never referenced in all of The Lion King 2? Yes, I'm sure the most likely business, straightforward, real world answer is they hadn't thought of Kion yet, but I'm not going to leave it at that. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today I'm going to explain where Simba's son Kion was in The Lion King 2. At the beginning of the film, we are introduced to Kiara, Simba's first child, who is presented as the Pride Land's future queen. Then we flash forward to Kiara as a roaming cub, exploring the Pride Lands and discovering the Outlands beyond their border. Near the border, Kiara meets Kovu, the son of the leader of the Outlanders, for the first time. When the Outlanders are introduced to Kion in the Lion Guard, Kovu exclaims, Back to the Pride Lands? That means I could see Kiara again. This statement shows Kiara's encounter with Kovu comes before the time of the Lion Guard. The Lion Guard takes place after Kiara meets Kovu and before her first solo hunt. So why is Kion not present in either of these time periods? During Kiara's young adventures in The Lion King 2, Kion's absence comes from being siblings of different ages. At one point, Kiara was an only child. Although there is no specific mating season, the lions in a pride normally mate about every one to two years. But since Simba's children are close in age and size, we can assume the mating must have happened closer to a year or less than a year. Within the time period before Kion was born, Kiara would have been Simba's only focus, which is why he was so protective, and that would explain why they don't reference Kion at all. Nala was either pregnant with Kion, or he simply wasn't born yet. Once Kion was born though, why do we not see him in the rest of the Lion King sequel? If we assume the lions in the Lion King behave identically to Earth's African lions, then unfortunately, the easiest way to explain Kion's absence is he died. There is an extremely high mortality rate prior to the age of 2 for African lions. For example, the death rate of lions in the Serengeti is 86%. That means over 8 out of 10 lions die before age 2. Since Kion in the Lion Guard is likely less than 1 years old, since lions of 1 year are similarly sized to a fully grown lion, then he has a high chance of dying from external causes like predators, especially since many lionesses are inattentive mothers in the wild and often leave their cubs alone for up to 24 hours. I don't think this was Kion's fate though. Kion is too resourceful to simply die and his parents actually seem overbearing, not neglectful, so then what could have happened to him? To know what happened to Kion, we need to know how old he is, because lions traverse through many specific milestones as they age, so knowing this information could give us an indication of what happened to him. To figure out how old Kion is, I examined his similarly aged sister, Kiara, for indicators of how old she is. At an early age, lions and lionesses focus on hunting, playing, and mainly staying alive, especially with that high mortality rate looming over their head. The Lion King and its sequel both do well indicating that, as we see both Simba and Nala and Kiara and Kovu enjoying games and play with one another, but everything changes when they get older. When they reach sexual maturity, the lions begin to seek companionship and both couples experience love songs and find a mate. After Kovu comes to the Pride Lands, he falls in love with Kiara, who reciprocates his feelings, showing us she has reached sexual maturity, and in the wild, this event is reached at 3 or 4 years of age. Since Kiara is likely 3 or 4, then we can assume Kion is 2 or 3 years old, and something huge happens when male lions reach 3 years of age. When male cubs reach this stage of their life, they are expelled from the pride and become nomads until they are old enough to try to take over another pride, usually after the age of 5. With both a current king and an heir, Kion was unable to remain in the pride lands if he wanted to become the dominant male of a pride and take his place as the primary mating partner. He had to leave. In the Pride Lands, of course he was the protector and leader of the Lion Guard, but after years of holding that position, maybe it was time for him to take on a larger responsibility of his own and become king of his own pride. To become the dominant male of a pride, Kain would need to challenge a current dominant male and the winner would take the pride for themselves. I don't think Kion would want to challenge his sister or father, who he both loved and respected, so he had to leave to take on the world by himself. Kion wasn't born at the beginning of The Lion King 2, and left Pride Rock before the unification of the Pride Landers and the Outlanders, because he had to discover a home for himself. If you'd like to continue to theorize on The Lion King, then I will leave the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description of this video. So now it's time for your thoughts. Do you think Kion left to find his own pride? Do you think Kion should have challenged Simba? And who is your favorite Lion King character? Let me know in the comments section along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, then remember to subscribe to watch some videos and click the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post. 
Thanks for watching and have a magical day.